Hey everybody, welcome to your upper body strength workout for week four for Together 2020. What I love about this one is it's another Tabata style workout. I love Tabata style because you don't have to think about reps, you don't have to count anything. It's just you going strong for 20 seconds. And all we're using today, let me move further to the side. Oh, look at that, I have to hold it, is dumbbells. So I have chosen two sets for myself. You could absolutely do this with just one set if you prefer. Um, go with kind of a moderate weight if you're going with one set. We do have things like lateral raises, bent over flies, but we've also got presses, bicep curls, the whole slew of upper body stuff, right? All right, you guys, we're going to go two movements per set, four rounds back and forth. Traditional Tabata, right? And we have eight rounds of work, so this is going to be approximately about a 40-ish minute workout, um, and your whole upper body's gonna be on fire, and then you'll be pumped, and you can go show off your quarantine flex muscles, right? You can like take some selfies and post them on Facebook and Instagram. You can tag Granite Billings in them because we would love to see that. Really quick, normally, as you know, we are filming at Granite. We are filming today in my garage because Granite's got some projects going on, getting the floor all buffered and everything for you so it looks great when you come back. And then also they've got some equipment sales going on. So getting out some of the old to make room for some of the new coming in. So with that, Welcome to my garage. Let me hit this timer up and let's get you started on your workout. All right, so our very first move is the dumbbell overhead press. So I'm gonna grab my heavier set and here we go. So it's just a strong press up and over. And like I said, the nice thing is you're not having to count. You're just gonna pick a weight that you know you can do for about 20 seconds. We're down to about five. And time. Our next move is a bent over dumbbell fly. I'm gonna go with a slightly lighter weight on this one. So we're gonna hinge over, weight in front of the knees, and squeeze up. So we're trying to stay hinged over to make sure we can keep that work in the back. And time. All right, so now you know the moves. Let's just do them again. Grabbing those dumbbells, bring them up. Let's go. Strong press, up and over. Oh, shoulders are already getting warm, which is a good thing. And time. Woo! Bench over flies. We're gonna hinge back over. I'm gonna go side on this time. We wanna keep a long straight back. And we wanna be in control of dumbbells coming up, but also of the dumbbells coming down. We wanna avoid doing any kind of aggressive pop. Ah. Two down, two to go. All right, dumbbells come back up. Here we go.
I wasn't saying that set was getting a little bit tough. All right, grab those dumbbells. Make sure you are in control of the dumbbells. And time. One more set. And then you're done with this one. We don't have to do it again. Woo! Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh. This is a lot easier set one. Ah. Yay, uh. Finish it out with those rows. <sighs> Elbows driving high and wide every rep. Oh. 
and time. All right, next set, gonna get really, really tough for those shoulders. We have lateral raises, 20 seconds, and then forward raises, 20 seconds. I wonder what side my dumbbells are over here. Just in case. That's not gonna help me out any. I have 15s, I have 15s. Looks like I am committed to 15s right now. Wish me luck. First move, just a dumbbell lateral raise, you guys. If it gets to be too much with the weight you have available, bend your elbows a little bit more. Let's go. Great news is, it's only 20 seconds. This is where you start telling yourself that line, right? I can do anything for 20 seconds. Whew. And time. All right, so for the forward raise, 15 is a bit much for my strength level. I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbell and just do the one dumbbell. You might be stronger on the forward raise than you are on the lateral. Just know when to choose what's right for you. Uh, and time. All right. <coughs> now we know our moves. <coughs> Get ready for that round two. <coughs> And we want to be in control. <sighs> Feeling strong in those shoulders, right? Feeling strong in that whole upper body today. And time. Prepping for the forward raise. Whatever selection of dumbbells you have. like the 20s are already getting heavy. When you stack these two together, man, stuff gets tough fast. <sighs> Time. Woo! We're back to the laterals. Ready, set. right now. That whole torso is firing just for any additional strength. Oh, Aren't you so glad 20 seconds goes fast? I know I am right now. Here we go. I start to feel the struggle and I look over at the timer and I'm like, oh, but it's only five more seconds. That's doable. And we're already on set three, so there's that going for us also. Five seconds. Whew. Last one. All right. Last time doing these. That always makes it better to know that info, right? Oh. I looked a little sooner than five seconds that time. Now we're about three seconds. Time. Whoo! Almost every other set I was looking like right at five. That time it was like seven. Ha! Let's go. Maintain super strong body, strong torso. Ah. And time. Woo! All right, so we're gonna be transitioning from our feet down to the floor and quickly on this one. We're gonna start dumbbell, Arnold press, palms in to palms out. Our second move is gonna come down to your belly and we're gonna go up, out, down, up, forward, down. All right, Superman to an, ah, to a T. Whew, 
Arnold press is coming up at your first. Possibly start with your heavier set of weights. Here we go. So that rotation happens as soon as you start to push up, we start to rotate. Likely that you can do a little bit heavier on this one. Time. Then you put on those laterals and forwards. Quick down to your belly. So we're long. We're going to lift up just the arms. Lift, open, down. Lift, front, down. So you guys, this is not a huge movement. Time. But how nice that you get to lay down for a second. Woo! That one feels good. Strong in those shoulders. One more. Time. Good job. Coming back down. We start with the arms in front. Should feel a little pinch in the shoulders to lift and a pinch in the mid back. Slide shoulder blade out. And time. Woo! I feel like I'm not getting up quite as fast as I was. Okay. That 10 second rest goes so quick. We are already in our third round. We only have four. One more. Oh. Bringing it back down. Here we go. So if you've already done the ab workout, you probably were able to see me better because I used a yoga mat, but it was so sticky that I was like, you know what? I like to be able to kind of slide when I need to to get into movements quicker. So we got rid of the yoga mat. Woo! One more round. Don't need nothing sticky. Oh! Last time here. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Last time here. That's good news. I lost my background music. I'll get that back right here in a second. In the meantime, just enjoy the sound. We bring the arm. Oh, all right. Like I said, no need to sit, right? Oh, Just easier to slide right in position. <laughs> Here we go. One important thing on this. You don't need to look up. Just let your head stay on a neutral spine. Ugh. Make your body work to lift. And time. Fantastic, you guys. That is four sets down. We have four to go. You're going to want your lighter weights. We're going to stay on the ground. Let me just get you some music. Whew. I mean, not that you can probably hear it too much anyways, but it's nice to know that it's there. So you're going to have your lighter weights. Hands are going to be up, and we're going to bridge the hips, taking the weights out, and then in. All right? Oh. You just get to stay on the floor this whole set. That's going to be beautiful. All right, go ahead and bridge up. And control those weights out. And then back up. And we're going to try and squeeze the butt the whole time. And this isn't going to be a huge range of motion, and that's okay. Arms open, arms closed. Time. 
All right, we're gonna take the hand weights up and we're gonna bring them down towards the forehead, all right? And time. Really quick, you guys, if it makes you uncomfortable to have the weight going at your face, start with a lighter weight and really focus on control. We wanna push out of the triceps to bring the weights back up. Time, quick breathing space. Come back into your bridge. Weights come up and you know what to do. Targeting that chest. But keeping a little bit of tension in the glutes and the hamstrings while we do that. And time. I would relax those arms. Give yourself about five seconds, then bring those arms back up, ready for those full crushers. Try and keep the elbows stationary as we bring those weights back up. Time. Try to relax them. Woo! Okay. Coming back into that bridge. Hands come up. Oh. Really big, wide stretch out with that chest. And a big contraction to bring them back up. Stretch. Contract. Ah, breathe, prep, slow crushers, here we go. Ah, at any point, if you are feeling like the weight is getting to be too much, don't mess around. Switch to a lighter weight or switch to one weight. When the weights are coming at your face, that's not exactly when you want to take chances, you know? Time. Woo. All right, we have one more. Bring those hips back up. Take it out wide. Be in control on the way out. Whew. And time. One last little rest with the weights. Relax your grip if you need to. And then get into position. Let's finish this set off. I really think I might regret my 15 pound decision when we get to triceps. Woo!
I'm gonna shake out just for a second. Good to relieve that tension. Woo! You already know the drill. <sighs> Laterals and forwards. Layout also, I felt the same way with the lower body. Time 
Um, it goes fast. You know, like there's enough changes in movements um, that the time just really kind of goes pretty quickly. I'm feeling that right now, even though my upper body is getting pretty shaky. I'm hoping you're feeling the same way. Feeling like it's just so much fun. You just don't want it to be over. The time's just blown by. Ah. And time. Woo! Okay, two more. Just because we're having fun doesn't mean it's not hard. <sighs> Feel that squeeze right in the middle of your bicep. Choose foot position based on what's right for you. 
Strong finish to the end. workout let me know what uh what your weight selection was what you felt like was fun about this one versus rep based ones and i hope you have an awesome week four we'll see you soon